So as an exercise, show that the set of positive integers is a monoid under multiplication but is not a monoid under addition. Okay, so next we'll show that the identity element is unique. And we'll state this as a theorem. A monoid consisting of an underlying set S together with the binary operation star has a unique identity element. So proof. Suppose that E and E prime are both identity elements. Then, regarding the element E as the identity, we have that E star E prime leaves E prime unchanged. Now, regarding E prime as the identity, we have that E star E prime leaves the element E unchanged. And so we have that E is equal to E star E prime, which is also equal to E prime. And hence, E and E prime are the same element. Okay, so new definition. Let S be a subset of the set T, and let the set S, together with the binary operation star, be a magma. The inverse of an element A in the set S is the element A inverse in the set T such that A star A inverse is the same as A inverse star A, which is the identity. So notice that the inverse of a given element of the underlying set may or may not be contained in the underlying set and that this inverse depends upon the specific binary operation of the magma.
So for example, consider the set of integers under addition. The inverse of an element a in the set of integers is the negative of a since a plus its negative is the same as the negative of a plus a which is 0 which is the additive identity and we call the negative of a the additive inverse of the element a as a second example consider the integers under multiplication the inverse of an element A in the set of integers is 1 over A since A times 1 over A is the same as 1 over A times A which is A over A which is 1 which is the multiplicative identity and we call 1 over a the multiplicative inverse of the element a. So new definition, a group is a monoid consisting of a set S together with a binary operation star for which each element A in the set S has an inverse which we denote A inverse also in the set S. So for example, the integers under addition is a group since the integers under addition is a monoid for which every element A in the set of integers has an inverse and in fact has an additive inverse negative a which is also in the set of integers. Now on the other hand the integers under multiplication is not a group. Notice that 1 over a is an integer only for a plus or minus 1 So it is not true that for every integer a, there exists a multiplicative inverse in the set of integers such that the product a times 1 over a is the same as 1 over a times a, which is the multiplicative identity 1.
Now, in general, there are two types of groups. Additive groups. consisting of an underlying set G, together with some notion of addition, and in an additive group, the additive identity, is denoted by the symbol zero, now, I want to emphasize this is not necessarily the number zero. Rather, for any arbitrary group that, uh, under some notion of addition, we denote the additive identity with the symbol zero. And the additive inverse of an element, A, and the underlying set G is denoted negative A and performing the operation which again is some notion of addition is denoted explicitly That is, we show the symbol explicitly to show that we have some notion of addition between the elements A and B. The other type of group is a multiplicative group. Which consists of an underlying set G together with some notion of multiplication the multiplicative identity is denoted by the symbol 1, which is called unity. Now, once again, this is the symbol 1, which we call unity, and not necessarily the number 1. And the multiplicative inverse of an element, A in the underlying set G is denoted by 1 over A, and performing the operation is denoted by juxtaposition. That is, the operation is not generally shown explicitly. Rather, the fact that two uh, elements are side by side indicates that we are performing the operation of multiplication, some notion of multiplication, between the elements A and B. Okay, so new definition. Let S be a magma under multiplication an element U in the set S is called a unit of S 
if it has a multiplicative inverse. So notice that in a multiplicative group, every element in the underlying set is a unit. Okay, so next as a corollary of uh, the theorem that we proved earlier, we will show that a group, in a group, every element has a unique inverse. So let the set G together with the binary operation star be a group. Then every element A in the underlying set G has a unique inverse. Also in the underlying set. So proof. Let A be an element in the underlying set G. And suppose that A prime and A double prime are both inverses of the element A. Then we have that A star A prime is the same as A prime star A, which is the identity element. And we have that A star a double prime is equal to A double prime star A, which again is the identity element. Now, since the identity element is unique, we have that A star A prime is equal to A star A double prime and so a prime star of the quantity, a star a prime, is equal to a prime star of the quantity, a star a double prime. Now since the operation star is associative, over the set G, we can regroup the terms so that we have the quantity a prime star a star a prime is equal to the quantity a prime star a star a double prime and so we have identity star a prime is equal to identity star a double prime and hence a prime is equal to a double prime And hence, for every element A in the underlying set G, there exists exactly one element A inverse, also in the set G, such that A star A inverse is equal to A inverse star A, which is the identity.